thumbing through my PES Win magazine and came across this uh, pretty interesting article. And I want to talk to Rosemary about this first, which is Robin Radar Systems. So they have a radar system which detects birds and uses it to identify the particular bird and where they're traveling and all this kind of great stuff. And it's actually pretty complicated technology. Uh, and it was originally designed to be used around airports to detect birds traveling places where they could collide with an airplane. Uh, but it's expanded out further than that, obviously. And the a couple of things from the article, which I didn't realize, is that there's a lot of research done on bird migration, kind of uh, bird patterns before the wind farm is installed. In some places, it's being required uh, as part of the siting effort. And I didn't think that was happening. Uh, at least it's, it's not happening here in the States. I, at least I haven't heard of it. It may be happening in Europe, and I, I'm wondering if it's happening in Australia. And if, if so, then it, it seems to me like you're going to need one of these Robin radar systems to, to do that. There's not a lot of choices in this space at the moment. Uh, you know, it, obviously, if, you're, if you need to really track birds, you need a pretty sophisticated radar system to do it because birds aren't very big. Yeah, well, there are several systems to identify birds. Um, Robin radar is good if you need to detect at night because the other ones, as far as I'm aware, they're using vision. Um, and I think that the, yeah, the the like AI vision interpreting systems from what I've heard do work really nice and reliably during the day. Um, but if you need to, yeah, monitor at night as well, you know, depending on mm -hmm. what kind of bird you're worried about, or if it's a, you know, a bat, then you've obviously, you can't, <laughs> can't just rely on what you can see to do that. Yeah. Bog would be hard without a radar. Yeah. Um, and I, I would be really surprised if it's true what you said that the U S isn't monitoring for birds before wind farms are installed. I mean, you must have environmental, um, uh, regulations that you have to ad adhere to and do, um, you know, like endangered species checks. And I, I guess, yeah, in America, you're more concerned about the migratory birds than any other kind of bird. Um, so there's a, there's a weird juxtaposition there in the U S law wise. And so, so law wise, the raptors are usually federally protected. So the USDA actually controls those U S department of agriculture. And then, and that's in cahoots with the U.S. Forest Service. So you have raptor nests where it'll be like certain eagles, certain owls that you have to stay away from, and that will be all the time. Like you won't even be able to build near them. But then there is, then there is also, you know, federal laws around. I did a project last summer up in the northern part of the states where there's a certain kind of grouse that has a mating. They call it a lek, a mating area, and we weren't allowed to bring cranes on site until after you know mid July to protect that mating area. So there is some rules. This, the fact that it's the states individually, they don't protect anything really at a state level. So un, until someone finally sues to for migratory birds, then the Federal Migratory Bird Act will come into play. Uh, but that hasn't yet. Does this change then once, if they're looking for birds before the farm is installed, I assume if they have a robin radar system that they will want to keep that throughout the lifetime of the farm. Because it, it's already kind of set up to know the migratory patterns. It would be tracking a, probably a little bit better than a, different, a vision system, for example, Rosemary. Like if you had this system in, in place, why wouldn't you just keep it? And then it, it does look like it, it will also uh, shut down or slow down turbines when it detects a bird and, and basically do some things that other similar systems are doing. But I, I guess the key is really nighttime, right? Is, is that the real mix here? If I had a lot of owls or something like that that's flying around at nighttime that I would need a system like this? Yeah, I mean, it depends if, it, if that's a problem for your, your wind farm. I mean, the, first, the, the best outcome is that you monitor before you build the wind farm and figure out that it isn't a really um, you know, dangerous place to put these turbines from a, any particular bird's perspective. And so you end up not, not needing to monitor because you'll have very few bird deaths and that would cover the majority of wind farms. Um, but then sometimes uh, you want to put a wind farm in where there are bird problems. And one example, I, when I did a video on wind turbines and birds, I used the example of Cuddle Hill Wind Farm in Tasmania, where they have a, a lot of um, eagles and the, there's a, a wedge-tailed eagle that is, I think, listed as vulnerable in Tasmania. And so they, um, you know, they have to be really, really careful not to kill any of those birds. And so 
they installed the identiflight system and I, I talked with the guy that was in charge of um yeah all of the environmental stuff for that site and they were they were super happy happy with it um and I know there was a nearby wind farm also in Tasmania that was using the robin radar system um for a different different kind of bird I think um so you do have some AEP loss it's definitely better than you know you've seen some examples in the US where um, people have complained about bird deaths after a farm's been built and the solution has been okay well you just can't operate a wind farm in these months of the year or you know you have to turn it off every night um or you know something like that and, and I mean you can imagine the hit that you can take to AEP from that especially yeah, depending on what season it is or the time of day, if you know, like overnight is um, often a very valuable time to be generating uh, energy. If the wind speeds are higher and solar power isn't available, then you can see higher prices. So if you're really stuck in that kind of situation, then yes, you're going to install a system. Well, if you want to learn more about Robin radar systems, just go to PES Wind because there's a good article about it and you can just get a free copy at PESWind.com. Oh,